Let me tell you why everything you think you know about yawning is wrong. For years, we were told a simple story. You see someone yawn, your brain says low oxygen, and you copy it. It's a team building exercise, a reflex to cool the brain, a boring biological function. But that story is breaking. Science is finding gaps you could drive a truck through. If it's just about oxygen, why do babies yawn in the womb? Why do Olympic athletes yawn right before a race when their oxygen is maxed out? Why do people with certain brain injuries stop yawning completely? The truth is, yawning isn't about air. It's about state change. Think of it like this. Your brain is a complex computer running dozens of programs. Sometimes it needs to shut everything down and reboot to install an update. That's a yawn. It's the body's hard reset button. Watch for it. In that long, boring meeting, your mind is drifting, your focus is gone. The deep, uncontrollable yawn. It's not boredom. It's your brain trying desperately to jolt the system, to shift you from a passive state to an alert one. Before a big moment, a speech, a performance, a difficult conversation, you might feel it rise. That's not nerves. That's your internal systems powering up, rebooting all circuits for peak performance. So the next time you feel that deep, jaw-cracking urge coming on, don't fight it. And don't believe the old story, see it for what it really is. Your mind hitting control out delete It's not rude, it's a recalibration. If you found this shift in perspective interesting, consider subscribing. We dig into the strange gaps in what we think we know, 